So today I've invited my friend Chris Condon over, who is a session guitarist. He is the band leader for Billy Ray Cyrus, and he just is a super talented producer and engineer here in Nashville. We actually did a studio tour together and saw his ridiculously epic home studio setup. I'll link it right here if you want to check that out. I invited Chris over because I wanted to get some fresh ideas on how to mic an amp. I have been miking amps since, uh, I, I don't know, I was 18. And uh, I have some ways that I like to do it, but I wanted to get input from somebody who is much more qualified than I and probably has some good tips. So if you like that kind of stuff, hit the like button for the YouTube algorithm. If you're not subscribed, I don't know what you're doing. You should subscribe to the channel. It's the red one. I think it's over here. Like is here, subscribe. Also, if there's a way that you like to mic amps that you didn't see in the video, let me know what you like to use and how you like to do it down in the comments. All right, Chris. What do you think? It's amazing. So this is the Friedman clip. I taped it up, but. Oh, cool. Yeah, there's bands like In Flames at the Gates, I believe did it as well, but it was like a metal thing. Okay. Now th there's a couple of Friedman clips on the market. This is the correct angle. Okay because there's an, some company that put out that was not the right angle, and this is a generic make of the Friedman, but it is the proper angle. Now, what it does is you put this straight on, supposedly it's supposed to be right in the cone. If you got your speaker, you got just right on the cone. Ultimately, what it does is it just takes the fizz out of your signal. So it's really good for high gain stuff because you don't get the fizziness. Yeah. But it also works great on just regular recording. Now the other way is Ooh. the tried and true, everyone knows about this one. A lot of people use this, but this is the Royer clip. Now, it's set up so it's perfectly in phase, but here's just a little hack. If you just put the label up against the fin, you're in the same boat. It's just gonna be in phase as much as you can. Yeah. So we know that the middle of the speaker is the cone. That's gonna be the brightest area. I like to kind of have it between the cone and right the, the edge. The edge, like so, like kind of like in the middle of the cone and the uh, paper of the speaker. Yeah. Now, also another way I've seen is uh, you know kind of tilting it on axis, off axis. Get a little bow. And and just like kind of it kind of cancels out the sharpness of the direct, and you get a kind of a a, a warmer, duller sound, but that could work, you know? So those are the three ways I would say miking, kind of like off axis, yep, directly on, and then kind of offset. Okay. That's yep. like the three things. And then also the distance of where you put it, you know, more room. I have a friend who likes to put the mic far out to get a little bit more of the room ambiance and the development of the sound. The yeah. Dynamic 160, a 121, a 57, and a 421. Those are the four mics I kind of live with. So we're gonna start with a 57 only. Chris is gonna play some stuff. What kind of guitar is that? It's Jazz a Jazz Master. Yeah, one I made wow. out of some parts. Are you sure that's not better than my Squire Strat? <laughs> I'll roll with whatever. <laughs> All right, so we're starting with the 57. We're gonna plug in, get a little tone, get a little level. So maybe what we'll do is a, like that kind of tone, okay. like a mild okay. breakup kind yep. of thing. And we'll just try that tone for each. Slight breakup. with two 57s is dead on the cone and then that one is off. Okay, round so next three. Up, 
is the 121 and the 57 in the Royer clip. All right, now just for fun, we are gonna use, what are we doing, the fuzz? I think so. I don't think there's Velcro on the <laughs> Let's, uh, I'm going to turn reverb down. And now we are just in, we're in the protein going into the DL4. Yeah, Oops. Ooh.
That sounds great. That thing is freaking <laughs> ridiculous. That one's called protein. I can't believe what a difference just flipping. Yeah. <laughs> it up we did the sm57 on its own we did two sm57s with the friedman clip and then we did the sm57 with the royer 121 two very cool mic placements i personally had never done the friedman thing that's pretty cool i'd, I'd done both on axis and off axis but not together not with the same mic that was pretty interesting a couple other mics that work really great on guitar amp are the Biodynamic M160, we did not use this in this video, but I've used it in several other videos, and it is one of my personal favorites if I'm doing a single mic on a guitar amp. It's a super cardioid ribbon by Biodynamic. Also, another one is an AKG D112. Now, I haven't seen a ton of people do this before. I actually picked it up from Mark Needham, who uses it on guitar cabs, and he records a lot of rock bands. So, you know who Mark Needham is? Great tones, I believe, The Killers, Imagine Dragons that world also very common is the 421 by sennheiser those are all excellent mics to use for recording a guitar amp ranging from a wide spectrum of prices as well i'll link to all of them down below in the description if you're looking to pick one up and if you have any recommendations of stuff that i didn't mention or use in this video let me know down in the comments as well as placements because there's there's a couple of things that sometimes i'll try but i want to know what you use and what you try let me know down below hey chris Thank you for uh, coming over and shredding with me. Thanks for having me. I'm gonna put links for your Instagram and stuff down in the description. Oh, cool. If anyone wants to follow you. Is there, you got any cool projects or anything coming out soon? Billy Ray, he's got a new song coming out, I did. Gracie Shriver and Mary Beth from The Voice. Oh, nice. We just nice. did them. So there, we actually tracked the band yesterday and did the vocals on Mary Beth and then we're doing the vocals on Gracie Shriver Saturday. Cool. So those are gonna be super fun. Yeah, just a bunch of different stuff. New Billy Ray though. That's yeah. Fun, so that'll be cool. So if he puts it out, <laughs> <laughs> I hope so. Uh, all right. Cool. I'll link all that down in the description. And everyone, go give Chris a follow. Also, thank you to Sweetwater for sponsoring this video. They're such a huge supporter of my channel, and they make it possible for me to just have so much more fun with these videos and use stuff that I would not be able to use otherwise. So shout out to them for being big supporters. If you like these videos, do me a favor, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. And I'll see you in the next video.